The COVID-19 outbreak has left the world in a state of great shock affecting not just the health of millions but also the economy worldwide. Coronavirus Chinese wet markets. Chinese wet markets remain ground zero for the emergence of many dangerous new infections including the current coronavirus pandemic. So what is a wet market exactly? Animals in wet markets are slaughtered or sold live right next to stalls selling fruits and vegetables. Conditions are often less than hygienic. Similar markets can be seen all across India as well, including the famous INA market in New Delhi. What makes Chinese wet markets different though is the fact that it's quite common to find a range of exotic animals being sold along with common animals such as dogs, rats, bats and cats. Here bodily fluids of these animals mix together and flow freely this may seem a fertile breeding ground for the virulent novel diseases that cross the species barrier to humans and occasionally become pandemics starting from the 60 year old pandemic asian influenza which originated from the wild ducks in wet poultry market guizhou the other deadly infectious disease sars syndrome of 2003 spread from bats to humans via civet cats found in Shenzhen, southern China. The two strains of avian flu in 2012 also emerged from a poultry market. And lastly, the origin of the current coronavirus pandemic was also from such a wet market in Wuhan, China, known as Hunan Seafood Wholesale Market. It has been found that the COVID-19 virus was first found in bats which further hopped on to another animal before getting passed on to humans. The transmission of microbes from animals to humans is elementary because of these Chinese wet markets where the sellers and shoppers mingle in narrow, small spaces with everything from live poultry to seafood. The danger of an outbreak comes when many exotic animals from different environments are kept in close proximity. These animals have their own viruses and act as an amplifier since the possibility of transmission of viruses increases in the wet surroundings. Regardless of these deathly pandemics and infections, these wet markets are quite popular and have great demand in the country. The Chinese believe eating certain live animals can treat ailments boosts male potency and are healthy for the body. China has allowed some wet markets to reopen in the country as the threat of the pandemic lessened and has made eating wild animals illegal. But ending the trade won't be easy. The Chinese believe that it is somehow impossible to permanently ban the trade of wildlife as the demand for these wild animals is so high. Will China ever mend its ways? Can the world still trust China and depend on it? Would these wet markets contribute to yet another pandemic? <laughs>